you guys, <laughs> you guys, you guys already know the deal. We got some clear way. This is new from my protein. Use code aftermath 40% off of my protein with code aftermath. Hit the link in the description. We got all the goodies. I, I, <laughs> I just did that. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Cardio? Yeah, just real quick. You put the gym clothes. Just getting back to the house. Did pretty much 35 minutes of cardio. Uh, then baby did some abs. So now I'm about to get my first meal of the day in. Some chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. She strained her neck trying to show off. <laughs> I was not. The ball was too heavy. You wasn't shooting for a day. I hope you know that. Any what? of your videos. None of my videos? No. You didn't change the settings? I don't know how. I thought it was automatic. Why don't you say something? No, it's not automatic. What's in your face? Um, I got that ketchup on deck. You know what I'm saying? This is all I'm eating right now. Three pieces of chicken. Where's your rice? No, I'm not gonna eat the rice right now. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna save it for my next workout. Before my next workout. Here I go again, not eating enough. I'm full already. I ate two pieces of the chicken and uh, a little bit of the, the rice. So, we're about to get ready to dip out. I got some passport stuff to the, to the uh, doctor guy. Um, Dr. Michael, and then uh, got streaming tonight. Apex Legends new season drops tonight, 10 p.m. So catch my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash FB after no, not FB after man, twitch.tv slash Teron underscore Beckham. This is my official name now. I'm just gonna keep it me, keep it me. So when I jump into my chat, they be like, Yeah, that's that nigga Teron. Yeah, get that right, babe. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Oh, blew my neck. This is all good right here. <laughs> <laughs> On a mission to use those cards. So, rushing to Doc Michael right now. Yo, I'm at the passport place because I just, you know, have to get a new passport because Babe wants to travel and stuff. We got to get the traveling going. And I lose my wallet, my bag, right? was open and then on top of that it was upside down so when that lady asked for my card and stuff i was reaching for my wallet and i was like doing this to my bag and i, I realized it wasn't open it i looked and i was like oh shit and she found it <laughs> off some crazy man walking down the street i was just standing on the corner i need to get over um oh, lady shit hey, both of them So I, I don't know why hey, I why didn't get back, huh? Because I need to turn right. Yeah, well, I'm saying you can, oh. they were taking hell along. Um, I was literally just standing on the corner. I don't know why I didn't get back in the car. Like, I don't know, I got distracted on my phone or something. So I'm just like standing on the corner and then I see like this crazy man just come like walking hella fast down the street. And then he's like fumbling with something in his hand. And I was like, hey! That's my boyfriend's wallet. <laughs> he's like, he's like, there's only a dollar in here. And then he like tossed me the wallet and took off. <laughs> took <like>, off. <laughs> <laughs> he had a cigarette. He looked stressed. He looked stressed. <laughs> Crackhead hit with my wallet. <laughs> I was like, hey, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> 
uh, Tell us about it. And here is your tailbone. Mm -hmm. You actually have a tail, everybody. And here is your anus. This is where the thing comes out. The, the, the defecation of the food that you eat. Oh my right. gosh. It just right there. Look at the little tailbone now. I know. It's yeah, so weird. <laughs> you have a tail. Everybody has a tail. You got Thank a you. Ass glass of water. <laughs> I'm thirsty. It's not very nice to meet you. Buddy. Nice to meet you. Your name's Keisha. Keisha. Very yes. nice to meet you. Have a seat there, man. Let's chat a little bit. Uh, tell me about. Tell me what we're working on. Uh, so, you know, me just being as big as I am and jumping and the lifting that I have, I think I'm like my main thing is uh getting my knees healthy. You know, it's just that's not like the only thing really. Um, and I know I feel kind of off, like just my hips. Like I'm always tight. My lower body is always tight. Hamstrings, no matter how much I stretch, like it's just, yeah. I mean, but my, my lower body is just my main issue. You tell them how you hurt your knee? I hurt my knee? Mm -hmm. Oh, so, you know, I, I game. So I'm sitting in my gaming chair. And sometimes I'll smoke my hookah, have my legs up on like the, the, the desk. Yeah. And um, I'm So your feet are straight. supported, but your knee is not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Like more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like a lot of uh, strain in my the back of my knee, and um, it was stiff. And I decided to go bowling one night, and I hit one of these, uh, and it just it just popped. You did hear pop, okay? Yeah. In the right or in the, the right? The right. Yeah. And it um has in the same sense. Like I can feel it when uh when I get this low, and then when I try to come back up, mainly. So like around this rep range is when I feel it the most. Do you, you feel it in the back? Uh, in the back and front. It's like back right here and uh, back here. It just feels like I don't have muscle there anymore. Like, like I, don't, I don't have that extra, yeah, like that power. Okay, so the bottom of the squat coming up. What about going when you get, so on the way up in that little range, it hurts. What about on the way down in that last little range? Um, it's just, just coming up. Just coming up when I, I yeah. That thing's kind of fun. It only hurts when I'm like dunking or jumping excessively. You jump super high. Yeah. Where do you feel it in the knee? It's always like the, the front. Okay, so mm -hmm. right on the kneecap. Mm -hmm. Okay. It just like swell up. I'm just like dang, I can't. I'm just, I'm just like, is it because I'm too heavy? I'm just Both jumping around. Get pretty like, swollen. Uh, yeah, after after a day of like playing some hardcore basketball okay. or like ju just like doing, just trying to dunk too much, I'll feel it the next day. How long does it usually take before the swelling goes down? Uh, like four or five days. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't. Like I'll go hard though. I'll go hard for one day and I'll like, chill out. <laughs> I'll chill out for like four or five days. I believe it. Get them socks, man. You like them? <laughs> <laughs> the holiday spirit already? Yeah, always. Always. <laughs> what do you want to work on? Uh, we'll look for stuff as you're moving around too, just see if we can optimize if there's little... Those hips. Little, little tweaks we can make. You mentioned yeah, the hips. hips. Yeah. Uh, they always feel off, you said? Yeah, they always feel off. Is that after gaming for a while, or is that... Uh, no, nah, that's just always. I'm just always. always. Like, I've been able... I've been, there are times where I'll just give up stretching because I feel like I'm just not getting anywhere. Okay. The athletes oftentimes it's like you try and stretch muscle A and you do a nice job stretching it, but oftentimes it's stuck on a muscle right next to it or above it or mm. below it. And it's hard, you know, you're doing stretch A for muscle A, but it's hard to do stretch A and B at the same time and pull them apart. I have, I'll show you once we do our assessment, I'll, I'll show you exactly, okay, yeah. this muscle is what's causing a problem for you, I put it on the camera too. I sleep a lot, but I sleep like this. <laughs> like this? Yeah, <laughs> sleep like this. On your, on your stomach? Yeah, on my stomach. Oh, I'd rather you sleep on a bed of nails than sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep like this, I sleep like this. I sleep all the wrong way. I try to sleep on my back. And do I be snoring on my back when I sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's all I try not to, because I don't want to be loud snoring. I don't, I don't snore on my stomach as much, at least. Any trouble breathing other than that? I mean, besides, because I smoke. Who good? <laughs> I don't feel like I have troubles, but I'll be... 
<laughs> when it's quiet, you can hear me breathing. Breathing heavy. <laughs> you fat I'm boy. I'm like, turn the mic down. Right? Breathing heavy. And I'll hear myself, like, and even in videos when I'm vlogging, I'll just be walking and you just hear me. <sighs> I'm like, damn. Do you, remember, do you remember that show, Hey Arnold? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yes. yeah when it doesn't talk, you just <laughs> put the glasses in. Pop the shoes off if you don't mind. Turn. Let me move the table out of our way. Let's go through our assessment. I just want to watch you move. Let's do your feet together for all of these. Let me see you squat as much as you can. Feet together. With your feet together. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Is that? Does that bother both the knees? Huh? That? Uh, hold on. That doesn't bother my knees. Okay. Okay. Now let me see you do it with a normal base. Does body weight irritate this too, or is it just under heavy load? It's so okay. Here's how to. I feel it more. Here's how to put it. I feel it more when I do hamstring curls and when I'm doing anything I'm dealing with, like my my leg about to lock out. So like, it's strange. I don't feel anything right now. Okay. You know. So when you isolate them, it's more. Isolate them, I feel isolated uh, a lot more. That, that one, pretty. Felt that one. I felt that one. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we use. These ones, we're looking for some of the ones that are painful for you. Because then after a couple times, we'll go back, we'll go back and try them again. And if yeah. they don't hurt anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do feet together again. Let's do heels on the ground. Let's just touch the toes. Okay. Let's do arms up and lean backwards. How often do you sit here? When you All game? day. Every yes, day. when you're gaming. Six hours a day. It's a gamer. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants to be a pro gamer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do twist to the left. Mid back's a little locked up too. We'll help yeah, you with that. Yeah. Go ahead that way. Are you right hand dominant, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, hold on. I'm about what? Try and touch the opposite side shoulder blade. Oh, there's no way. There's absolutely no. There's, uh, there's, there's no he's way. He's here. We'd love for him to be up here. There's no way. So everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Turan. <laughs> okay, so let's put the muscles in. These are bigger. Let's put in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> not drawn, not to scale. Biceps must be increased by 150%. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you first the main problems. So here's right leg. All right. And the one that's giving you trouble, quads area, so quad four. So rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and then under rectus femoris is vastus intermedius. There's your four quads. The problem for you is underneath that one, do you see this little one yeah. here? It's called articularis genu. Mm -hmm. You've got a big knot right in the middle of it, which is not letting it do its job of fully extending the knee. Mm -hmm. So then when you're in the bottom of the squat and it needs to help you extend your knee, it's not. Okay. That's what's hurting. So it's, it's you know what? Because like when I imagine how it looked like, that's what it looks like. like that's three little fucking uh, geo dudes or dittos. <laughs> dittos just kind of. So that's number one. After I show you each one, we'll go over how we're going to help it. That's in the front of the knee, and you'll notice the patellar tendon. The rectus femoris, one of the quads, becomes the patellar tendon. Mm -hmm. So then that'll cause a lot of pain. Gotcha. On the front. That's what's going on with this one here. Quads are a little tight, or a lot of tight. Mm -hmm. So that's how we're going to help this. And we can treat the patellar tendon too. So you'll see on this side how this one comes all the way from your hip. See how if I light it up in blue? It yep. comes all the way up to your hip. comes all the way down, and it blends with the patellar tendon. The patella is the kneecap. Everyone says the kneecap. So right where you pointed to me, mm -hmm. right there. Let's transition back to the right leg for a moment. In the back here, behind, he said this one was the one that's getting him on the front. That little one. And you'll see if you go under rectus femoris and you go under vastus intermedius muscles, that's it. So it's really deep in there. It's so in there. It's, oh yeah. So now, In the back of your knee, here's hamstring one, hamstring two, hamstring three. Not that. That's back of quad. That's hamstring four. You have a problem in this one, this one, and also see where the calf comes up mm -hmm. and tucks underneath the hamstring. Mm -hmm. That's where your main problem is. Mm. So again, just keep that in mind for a moment. I'm going to show you how we're going to help that in a moment. That's another one. Now, we talked about the left knee. Now, this one will probably be the most fun since you're a legend of a gamer and you <laughs> sit for several minutes. Weak abs? I wouldn't say no, just the hip, the hip flexor is quite tight. Yeah. Because you told me you sit for about five minutes to about 10 days yeah. at a time. <laughs> yeah. you say? That's correct. Like more than more like 30, <laughs> or 30 days, every, every day. <laughs> so this is the psoas, the hip flexor. You'll see it goes from your spine all the way down and it crosses the hip. So we're going to have to do some good work on that too. Once we unlock that, your hips are going to feel brand new. Mm. Then after we go through with our muscle work, we'll go through and give you some spinal adjustments. Those will be really good. That's the, oh damn. Things like that. You can get into that. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> I like it. Now Rocka. hold that thought for just a second. Now that little one, the three dudes that you mm -hmm. said, picture that is like this piece of paper here. What's happened is if this is the muscle right in the middle of it, you've built up nice knot in it, okay? Mm. Now, this knot is what prevents the muscle from being able to contract and stretch properly, so therefore it can't work properly. So what we're gonna do is go in and break up this fibrous tissue, the knot, and restore proper length like that. Gotcha. That's concept one, that's what we're doing for hip flexor, so as that's what we're doing for knee. The other concept pertaining to you, Teron, is where hamstring and calf are a problem. So 
here's one of hamstrings. Here's gastrocnemius. Everybody knows that one is, they call it calf, right? Mm -hmm. When you bend and extend your knee, these two need to have what are called relative motion, which means when one goes one way, the other has to go the opposite way. So it's like this. If you get a big knot between them, then they get stuck together. And so when you move your leg, they just move together and they, it just hurts. So what we have to do in treating those is move one one way and the other the other way at the same time. And you'll feel them start to separate. Gotcha. Once we can do that, the pain will go away. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So those are the two concepts for you. Get to it. Once I get there, I'm just going to have you kick your leg mm -hmm. all the way back like this. Okay. okay. Here we go, man. It's been months in the making. Ready? <laughs> yep. Like I'm ready. Let it go, okay, Trump? Okay, good to see you. Boom, abdomen. Go ahead, kick the leg back. Good, all the way back. There you go. Oh. Oh. Even more, even more. Good man. Good, I'm back. This shoulder way back. Yep, exactly. Curl? Yes. Try and keep your abs as relaxed as possible. Okay. Go ahead. Yep, even more, even more. That's it, right there. Hold, please. There's always a please attached to it. <laughs> Good, come back again. Here's what's called semi-membranosis, one of the hamstrings. So this is that first concept I was telling you about. First, we're gonna break up the scar tissue in this one. And then, after we complete that, we'll break it apart from the calf. You sure you can get my bicep in frame? It's not too big. <laughs> We got you, we got you. Cool. Just check it. I don't want to disrupt the content, you know? Mm -hmm. How'd you two meet? The gym. The gym. Oh, no limit? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> there, relationship started there. Awesome. <laughs> Everything happened at the gym. Awesome. Need your assistance with this one. I just want, if you can, Keep your ankle like this the whole time, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to have you very slowly straighten your leg. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't do it just yet. Don't bend. This is the concept of cross. Yep. Okay. So what we need to do is make hamstring move this way and calf move this way. Mm -hmm. When you do your hamstring curls, let's say you're doing seated hamstring curls, you curl, this is what gets affected the most. 
is especially you need calf to go that way and hamstring to go this way as you're doing the curl. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, it's, it's just like two sandpapers rubbing together. Yep. Yep. So that's how we'll help you here. Good. Yep. Let's do hand on bicep. Shoulder down. This is right here. Just so it's in a comfy position. This part, the sacrum, was tilted like this. That's why your hips were feeling off. Mm. So you can pick, this is the sacrum here, this like triangle. You can picture like this came up like that. Mm. So in that adjustment, we just went mm. knocking okay. back down. Yep. Gotcha. And then the unexciting one, but effective one, was this was sitting a little bit like that. So this kind of came down a little bit. Gotcha. So we went. Like that. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. A nice little one there. I heard that one. When you dorsiflex, this bone called the talus was riding a little bit too high and it was slamming into these bones right here. So literally what I do is just pull it away from it a little bit. Just create a little bit more space. segment that's out of place. On this side, I'm going to bring you over this way, and it's a flick this way. Okay? It'll be like in the back, except it'll be a lot louder because it's right near your ear. You ever had this thing? Mm -mm. Never? Mm -mm. You've seen it? Yes. Feeling good. How does it take to on your knees? It feels good. You feel it pulling? Yeah, I feel it pulling for sure. 
<laughs> you walking a little up. funny. I'm walking a little funny. Oh, yeah. Gotta, gotta get used to this new, this new mobility. Right. <laughs> it's loose. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.